Hey guys, welcome back to the Kid Science Corner. Today I've got a really fun chemistry experiment for us to do. <laughs> Just kidding. Today we're making a lime slushy. Um, I love lemonade, um, but today we're doing the same thing except with limes and adding ice. It's basically the same thing, except yet, like I said, we're using limes instead of lemons and using ice. So what you'll need for the, the ingredients you'll need for this recipe is you'll need three limes and cut them in half like this. Uh, my dad's already done it for me. Three, one, two, and three. Um, and you'll also need some water, maybe like a half a glass or something. A squeezer, so you can like put the lime and then squeeze to get all the juice out of there. Measuring cups. Sugar. Uh, um, measuring, another measuring cup with like a glass. And of course you'll need a blender. Uh, and some ice. So now, first what you'll need to do is take your measuring in a glass and find one and a half cup. Right here, that's one and a half cup. And if the three limes don't equal to one and a half cup, that's okay. Then just fill the water with the rest. Okay, now, so how you use this is you take this little open part, take the line upside down, like that, hold it in place, and then you want to take this part and just, oh gosh, just move it, and just squeeze it until all the juice runs out. Sorry, this is a little hard. Squeeze. Oh, see all some of, some of the juice is coming out. It might move a little, but you just have to go with it. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. Now put all your strength into it. If you don't have a squeezer, that's okay. You can just squeeze it with your hands. If you want to, but that's gonna hurt your hands a lot. Okay, I think with this line, Now, take a blender, take 
just Gordon. Now, take your measuring cups and find one fourth cup. It's okay if you don't have one fourth cup. It's how much ever sugar you want. So, in this measuring cup, I have one fourth cup, one third cup, one half, a half cup, three fourths cup, and one cup. One cup is way too much sugar, so I'm doing one fourth cup because it's the smallest. So I filled one fourth cup, not exactly one fourth cup, but like little, like half of one fourth cup. Maybe like that. Maybe uh, two one fourth cups. You want to put if you do, if you put half of one fourth cup, then you want to put three one fourth cup. If you put the whole full one fourth cup, you can put you you have to put two because that'd be way too much sugar. I think that is enough sugar, but if you blend it and if it's not enough sugar, you can go ahead and add more sugar. But for now, I'm just sticking with two cups. Now I'm going to go over there because there's the ice thing, like ice comes out of it. So I'm going to take the uh, I can I'm going to take the blender and put it in the ice. So this is how it's supposed to be. There are no exact measurements for the ice, but you can pretty much everything. If you want it to be like an icy or a juicy. If you want it to be an icy slushy or a juicy slushy. So then, blender. So I'm gonna go right here because this is where the blender is supposed to go. Okay. Oh gosh, this is extremely heavy. My blending machine and the plug. So, I'm gonna, I hope I don't spill. Let me set this one on the plug. Okay, now, I wanna plug this little guy. On. Yep. Okay, I need a plug for this. because then it'll turn more into a slushy. If you do this, it'll turn more lumpy. So I'm gonna hold the top. Three, you can hear a loud noise in three, two, one, cover your ears. surprisingly fine so no more sugar I need to add no more juice no more nothing but if you need that you can go right ahead and do that so now we get some stuff and get a cup and sorry 
the ice machine. You can just go in. Oh my gosh! If if that happens, then right there. Okay, no switch. Um, just measure it out along the. Yeah, let's do that like a monkey. This is wonderful, just wonderful. I think my parents will love it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the Kid Science Corner. Um, I hope you guys do this too, and I hope you really like this recipe. Bye!